Before I explain Ajax you should know two core concepts. First is asynchronous communication. And the second is XML. First let's begin with asynchronous communication. Consider two friends. The first one wishes to ask some information from the other and places the phone call. The second friend takes some time to search and respond back. During all this time the call is held, the first friend waits. This is a typical synchronous communication. But there is another possibility also. If a long delay is expected, the call can be disconnected. The first friend can do other things. He doesn't have to be stuck. And when the other friend is ready, he makes a bad call. The system didn't hang. Because of this callback arrangement, this is asynchronous communication. XML is a text-based format for storing information. This is a typical XML markup. This is a mandatory line. And this is the actual data. Phone. Name An object called user is stored here. XML has a close resemblance with HTML. In fact, HTML is a type of XML. XML is a text-based format, so it suits the Internet world. Data can be easily sent and received using XML. Browsers can send parameters. And servers can respond back in XML. XML facilitates two-way communication. These days JSON is an alternative to XML. This internal story will help us understand Ajax. Your browser can be partitioned into a front end and back end. The display window is the front end. And the CC++ code of the browser application is the back end. 
The address bar places a request with the backend code. The backend talks to the Internet Cloud. The server sends the information to the browser backend. And the backend satisfies the request. This front end is the first friend in our analogy. And the backend is the second friend. This is a synchronous communication. During all this time the front-end display was waiting for the data to come in. It hangs. The screen washes off. These are the symptoms of synchronous communication. Now comes asynchronous communication. We have a web page having a small form with a text box and OK button. Backend. By clicking this OK button the request is placed. And two things are passed to the backend. Parameters from the form. And the name of a callback function. This all is done with the help of JavaScript. The backend gets busy fetching the information. When it's ready it calls your callback. And you can then smoothly update the information on the displayed page. When all this was happening, the front end showed no signs of hanging or going white. This is an Ajax call. Asynchronous, JavaScript and XML. Ajax can be best done with jQuery. Ajax and MVC stitch smoothly with jQuery. For an Ajax call you should have a server-side action that returns JSON result. The action takes a parameter called ID and returns a string called thanks. The returned string will be wrapped in a JSON object. On the browser we have a form having an OK button. This is a schematic code. The click event is tied to a function. The 
inside the function. A schematic jQuery code is shown here. Post. The action method to be called. Data sent for ID parameter. This is the callback that receives JSON from the server. The string is received as data here, and can be suitably displayed. Please note that the parameter called data must be spelled correctly, it's hard-coded. This is a typical jQuery, MVC and AJAX play. Thank you.